Hi everybody, I'm Jerry. I'm Linda. I'm Michael. We're the newcomers and today we're down in Richmond for kind of an update from a show that we did about six or seven months ago. If you remember, it was a show called something like Happy But He's Got Renters All Around Him. And Michael moved in here and he was surrounded by rental homes. Not one permanent resident on his block. So he was a little bit uh, discouraged and we came and talked to him. We did a show, a very popular show, Michael. Oh, no. <laughs> 110,000 views as Crazy. of today. Yeah. And so thank you for inviting us back. Oh, it's great to, be, to have you guys back. Thank you. And last time we were here, there were boxes everywhere. We couldn't give you a proper home <laughs> tour because he was in the process. But it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You've got it uh, all done up, and we're going to take a tour in a little bit, right? Great, yeah. I'd like to show we're you We're going to see not only a nicely done interior, but you've fixed up the yeah. exterior with a beautiful landscaping. Okay, great. All right, so you're from Colorado. I am. You came here. You were a little disheartened, but some magic took place. What happened? Well, first of all, the, because of the video, I had the outreach of that was tremendous. I've had people um, reach out to me here in the villages. I've got so many of my current friends right now were because of the original video and they met me and um, so you guys really jump-started my social life here um, but then also just I'd be out walking around through the square taking classes um, recreation and people look like you know you look familiar <laughs> it's like okay Jerry and Linda I go that's where we've seen you um, plus I've had so many people contact me outside the villages up in the northern states and and, and whatnot just asking me lots of questions about my experiences here and that's been great um, I've met several friends people have come down to visit me from up north, um, wanting to, to kind of kind of pick my brain a little bit about the villages. So it's it's been it's been wonderful. Well, yeah, it sounds like you started off with very few friends, and now you've got a whole bucket full. Oh, I've got I've got more than I can actually manage at times. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not complaining. It's a great it's a great thing. That's, that's not a problem, really. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> and last time we were here, you we we kind of said you had jumped in with both feet as far as activities oh, go. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Has I that stabilized, the or have you picked up anything? More? I have not slowed down. Actually, it's even more. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I get up almost every morning at six or six thirty, and I hit the ground running. I've got a, I had to buy a calendar. Um, uh, I, I thought of you, Linda, because yeah. you, you had that show about your um, planner. Yes. I have literally got probably four to five things that I have got to do every single day. Yes. And it's fun stuff, but it, I'm exhausted, but it's, it's, it's a good exhausting. And um, I really, and what I tell everybody is get involved in everything. Try everything once. I mean, not everything you're going you're gonna to like. Um, yeah. But try it before you say, I'm not going to go for it. And so, no, I've been very busy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for making time for us today because I know, I know you were have we things in your planned. Schedule? You sure were. Oh, no, yeah, I, I was looking forward to today. <laughs> All right. Now, when we came before, you were a little bit unhappy because, I don't know, six or eight homes on your block here and they were all rentals. How has that turned out? Well, since we've, we've so I live in a, uh, in a villa neighborhood and there's 85 homes here. And actually one mm -hmm. of the neighbors actually did some research and found out 50% are renters. Oh. So we actually know the numbers now. So what we've done is I, along with another neighbor, we started our own social club. We went down and got it approved and we meet at Lake Okahumka uh, once a month. And it's called the Oliver Villa Social Clubs. And it's for those that actually live here. And um, we get together and um, although we have a lot of renters here, um, now the, some are long-term renters and we've embraced them as, as our neighbors, okay. um, but you know, we have a lot of short-term renters as well, but the long, the long-term renters and those of us that own uh, here get together once a month and um, we've, we're, we're a very tight group and I've got excellent neighbors. So um, it's, it's worked out well. Well, fantastic. Cause we were a little bit worried about you there. <laughs> now uh, of the, the renters, has that caused you any problems? You know what? For the most part, no. Um, the only thing is, especially right now that snowbird season has started, I sit out on my lanai and I watch a lot of the golf carts go by mm -hmm. and probably about a third of them, I don't know who they are mm -hmm. because they're short-term renters. Um, but you know, for the most part, they're nice and they're friendly and, and you know, we wave at each other, but um, obviously you don't get to know those folks if they're only going to be mm -hmm. here for a, a week or so. Mm -hmm. um, but around me, there's some long-term renters who have signed one-year leases and actually we've been here one year next month They've actually signed up for a second year, which is good. And those are great neighbors to have, you know, you know, so. I think, I don't think anybody would be upset with leasing yearly because no. you would have time to get to know the people. Right. right. Yeah. You know what, for us, and, and we're not bothered by it, but occasionally renters don't know when to put out their garbage. 
you know, they'll put it out yeah. three days early or two days early. And, uh, you know, that's a little bit problematic. That is a problem, you know, because especially if they put it out several days before pickup day and then the birds come in. And, yeah. and, and there has been a couple of times, that's a good point. We as neighbors have had to go out there and clean up their, their garbage that's on the street. But, yeah. yeah. That's what it well, is. I'm glad it's all worked out for you. It's worked out very well. Now, when you were in Colorado before you retired, what, what kind of work were you in? I was a claims manager of auto insurance. Okay. Did that for over 30 years. Okay. Right. Have you, then you're probably knowledgeable about insurance. What do you think about the insurance situation in Florida? Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, my auto insurance is coming due in about 60 days. I haven't got the renewal notice on that. I just saw your episode mm -hmm. on that. I'm expecting, and, and I was with the same carrier that you were with. So I'm expecting if you got the increase, I'm probably going to yep. get too. So yep. I'm going to have to do some shopping on that. And um, homeowners, yeah, that's a, that's a concern. Yeah, it's, um, it's not a good situation. Mm -hmm. So Ours literally doubled. And then they said, but if you pay it annually, we'll take off 400 or $500. You know, but it still made it 600 more than it was last year. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we changed companies. Yeah. We'll, we'll let you know. Okay, yeah. thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Well, so anyway, that's coming from an insurance guy, you know. So uh, it's one of the things. It's universal, but it's particularly, mm -hmm. you know, problematic here in Florida. Yeah, yeah, it sure is. Yeah. All right. Well, anything else that's happened here in your neighborhood or in your home that you want to tell us about before we take our tour? Uh, no, that's just I, I'm coming up on um, on my one year next week is my one year anniversary, so I'm excited about that and uh, did my inspection and uh, we can talk more about that if you like. And um, but no, things are going well. Well, you just got your property tax bill. How how was that as far as what you were expecting? Yeah, yeah. My sales agent last last year spelled it out so it was pretty much right to the penny almost what I was expecting and um, drove went to the drive through a few weeks ago and I, I paid early in November so I, I saved yeah. a couple hundred dollars so right. that was that was good yeah now you have a two-bedroom patio villa correct but it's very nicely equipped and I see and we're gonna look at it a little bit later you've got the bird cage I do yeah that's that was a big um, add-on yeah <laughs> I love it and it looks good you're I, I can tell you like plants and you like nature. I do. And you've got them out there, and we're going to give everybody a look at that. Okay. But could you take us on a walk through your house? Yeah, that'd be yours? great. I'd be happy to do so. All right. All right. So the first thing here I did was I put this insert in, in this door right here. There's a, a store up in Spanish Springs that I went into. I picked out the, the glass insert. Uh, they came back here in about six weeks after I picked it up with their truck. And they took the whole door off the hinge, went inside their truck, took about an hour, came out, and they had cut up. The, 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 I did a three-quarter here. And I did this because I was thinking, I needed a little bit more light in the house. And I was thinking about putting in solar tubing. But I thought, let me try this. And this has really brightened it up. Plus, I can, I can see out, outside when someone's coming and stuff. So, um, and I think, I think it, looks, it looks nice, too. It has nice street appeal. Okay, uh, living room, um, I, and actually you can see through most of the house here, I bought all my furniture sight unseen either through uh, West Elm or Pottery Barn with the exception of these chairs I bought at City Furniture here in the Villages. And uh, it took about four to five months for all that to come in. It didn't come in all at once. So I was without furniture for a while um, I, because of the supply uh, issues that were happening. I don't know if they're still going on or not. Um, what else all I did in here is this, this house came with r something called rolled vinyl flooring. And within 30 days of being here, I put two huge holes in it. <laughs> and I'm really careful with my furniture. So I ripped it out and put in, this is luxury vinyl planking. I put this in. And I also ripped out the carpet in the bedrooms as well too, and just to, to be uniform through the whole house. And, um, and I also upgraded the floorboards to, I believe these are um, six inches. I think the originals were like three inches that came with the house. What else I did in here is I painted the walls because the, wall, the paint that came in here was the same kind of paint that you put on the ceiling. And it, you could just put your finger on there and it was just coming off just on my finger. And it was very chalky and it was a very dull color. And there was no uh, eggshell in it, there was no sheen to it. So I painted the whole house I put a little bit of accent color in here. Uh, you'll see in, in, the, in the kitchen, because um, I wanted to kind of not have everything just all, all white, and um, did that. What else I have done here is I replaced the counters with quartz. It came with a uh, Formica, and I did this here in the kitchen. I did it as well in the bathrooms. I replaced the, 
I went up to Alcala and went to a uh, designer showroom and, and picked out this fixture, replaced that. I replaced the sink uh, with an undermount sink. Also what I've done here is in lieu of a backsplash, what I did is just use the same quartz material and just brought it up here in lieu of a, and that's in lieu of a, a backsplash. Now, were they able to shave that quartz to a thin size for the backsplash? They were. Also, what um, on the patio villas, what you have right here is a little step-down desk that is just almost kind of a wasted space, comes with a little pencil drawer. So what I did is I wanted to have the same look. Yeah, the same look across there. Yeah, and then we had to, where this was here, I just put in a, another, you, know, you can never have too much shelving, right? And too much cabinets. And we, we built a cabinet there. Look at that stove, Linda. I'm jealous. You know, that's one thing nice about south of 44 is you get gas stoves. And I have never had gas, and I, I, I like to cook. And I thoroughly enjoy having a gas stove. <laughs> Um, in, the, in the kitchen, I had pull out, um, the pull-out shelving, but it, in, it, this, um, this pantry is pretty deep, but did not come with the pull-out shelving. So I had, I, I had that installed. You have really upgraded. I'm telling yeah. you. Then in the, um, you know, obviously, uh, the, the, one, um, the new homes do not come with washer-dryer, so I had to purchase a washer-dryer. And then also what I did in here, it just had the one wired shelf. And, but then you had all this extra space here, and you know, again, you know, it so was wasted space. So I, I, I had more shelving put in. Very nice. That is lovely. Boy, Linda, I could throw all the laundry on this big countertop right here. <laughs> yeah, you could. <laughs> what I also did here too is be, um, because I don't really have a designated dining area here. Is when they built this, when they put this in there too, because the old counter stopped about right here. I extended this out a little bit further, which makes it a lot more, um, more room and more comfortable when you're, when you're eating at the table. I love the white cabinets, the white uh, quartz. I mean, it really looks good. I like your accents. Now you said you have some artwork being framed. To being framed that's walls. coming on there, yes. And part of the only one thing I'm still going to do is put in the pendant lighting right here. Um, yeah. Look at this big boy, I love that. Yeah, I, I bought that at the Brownwood uh, arts festival this past summer so that was my little piece of florida artwork that i brought nice, in <laughs> nice nice really really and now as i noticed the, the little play area over there in the, the bowl here you have a kitty i have a cat she unfortunately is hiding her name's pepper she does not like strangers so um <laughs> And I am a big fan of that floor you replaced. That is beautiful. I have gotten so many. In fact, actually, the, the, the company that put this in has sent several other prospective buyers to my home. <laughs> um, because, yeah, they did, a, they did an uh, outstanding job. All right. Now the hallway is going to take us back. Yeah, hallway. And one thing I do want to show you in here, what I did do for the, um, for the air conditioning unit is they put in a residential air ionizer system is some sort of Blu-ray. So it's, it's basically to control, okay. you Pure, know, purify your air. Purify, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I did that. So that's where the furnace is, everybody. Yep. Here's my guest bathroom. Um, and again, you're going to see new counters, um, undermount sinks were put in there. I, didn't, I haven't done too much in there other than that. Michael, these kind of visits put a lot of pressure on me to get new quartz counters up in our bathroom. <laughs> okay. So this is the master. And even though this is a small patio villa, these master bedrooms are huge. Yeah, that's very um, large. I've, I've never had a bedroom this large. So it's plenty of room here. Um, again, painted like I did the rest of the house, painted the walls, did the accent color. Uh, Furniture. It's beautiful and it is quite large. It's plenty of room, yeah. Again, new counters, uh, sinks, new fixtures. The shower, when you buy a patio villa, just comes with the rod. So I did the glass insert there. I 
I see you haven't upgraded to the Toto toilet yet. Not yet, not yet. I've had some neighbors that have done that. Then in here, this 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 is almost like a, another bedroom. This is my master closet. Only came with one shelf though, with all this extra space. Ours was the same. So you can see what I did in here um, with clothes and then also oh, built a shoe rack on the side just to, and look how much, it gave me more space than I needed. Looks yeah. like you're kind of a gangster, Michael. You got oh, that. all those hats? Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. You are a neat guy. I think uh, I'm really going to be getting some pressure after we leave here. <laughs> and the map here, what are, you, is this, are these places you visited? Okay, so blue are places I have at least spent the night and had a meal, and the red are places I've lived. A lot of that... Uh, a lot of California, a lot of Colorado. Left coast. <laughs> yeah, that's where I was born and raised. <laughs> And there's a little red dot right there in the village. There's the villages, yes. Yeah. That's a neat idea. I like that. We're going into the And this is the guest second bedroom. guest bedroom and I'm still I'm still putting things away actually, but you can just see it's it's a good size. Yeah. Uh, the the lump in the bed, that's my cat hiding. <laughs> yeah. But what I, I can show you in here too, what I've also done in here too, again, I needed more space for books and things. So um, I left a little bit of a space over here in case I do have guests for them to hang things. And um, Linda, I think you did a video on this about a Very year or so similar. ago. In fact, I've used, I used your same um, uh, contractor that did yours. Um, but this is just so nice to get this kind of stuff. You know, I've, I've tried to downsize as much as you can, but you still have stuff that you need to put away, so. I am loving this. Mm-hmm. I am. <laughs> Uh, let's uh, go in the garage. I'll open the garage door up. Alrighty, we're out here in the garage now. I've done a few things out here. Um, the first thing is I, I put in epoxy, which I'm very happy with. Um, I think it looks good. It feels good on your bare feet too if you ever come out here. And then to increase storage, I bought these um, through Costco and had them deliver. I've got a lot of kitchen stuff and I wanted closed cabinets. So this is my kitchen overflow <laughs> that I keep out here of things I don't use as much. Uh-huh. So yeah, that's, that's a good uh, thing. Storage, as we tell everybody, is a problem here in the villages. It is. Um, and then I have over here, I, I bought, um, this is kind of a banquet table and a small round table with some chairs because as I said earlier, I don't have a dedicated dining area in there and I don't want my place too cluttered. So if I do ever have company over, I can just pull that in and put uh -huh. a nice tablecloth on it and have a place to eat. Um, and you have a, a sink out here in the garage. I sure do, yeah. Yeah, that's handy, yeah, for just clean up and, you know, doing yard work and stuff. So you don't have things to... you don't want to drag into the home. Right, yeah. I've got a golf cart here. This is, a, I think we talked last time you, you were here, Jerry. I, I said I had a golf cart that was being um, custom made. So here it is. It arrived in, in May. Uh, very happy with it. Uh, I get Yamaha a lot of- Yamaha gas. It's, it's, yes, it's get Yamaha quiet gas. Quiet tech. It's a quiet tech, yeah. Right, and I love the red and white. It's very similar to my cart. Nice. And then I did the Nova filters, which I know a lot of folks do. Nova water filters. Yes. And one thing I just did just a couple of weeks ago is I put a, um, I had an electrician come up and put a surge protector in my, Very in, in my electrical panel here. Excellent. Also, I'd like to show you, outside too is another with, with surge protector. I had Seco, who is the electrical company here in Sutner County came and you can either rent these or purchase them. And they also did a surge protector on the side of my home there. I believe you can rent them for about six bucks a month or you can pay, I think I paid a couple hundred dollars for that. But it's got like a 10 year warranty on it as well too. Cause I did, um, I took a surge this past summer. Uh, kind of scared me a little bit. My whole house shook and I don't think I got struck by lightning, but it. And you have the on-demand uh, water heater. I sure do. And how do you like that? I love it. Um, it does take, I mean, when you want to take a shower, you've got to like wait a couple of minutes. But then once it, you know, once it goes on, it just never. Yeah. Okay, do you want to see the outside? Yes. So I had the driveway painted or stained. 
I think is the proper terminology. And then they carried the same stain into the entryway and and did a little design here inside. We'll go inside my birdcage here. All right. So the birdcage ended right here when you buy it, and, and it, it, it was white framing. And we went to, um, I think this is called bronze color, and I went to that just because it matches the trim of my house. Um, so we ripped that out and then kind of made an L shape here. Right here I had just a kind of a, a dirt area we just with, with a shrub in here, and I elected to put pavers in right here. And what I want to put in here, I need to buy a big pot and put a big plant of some sort here. And then we'll come inside the bird cage here. Now, do you mind uh, telling our viewers what company did your bird cage? T and D did the bird cage. And was there a wait uh, time for that? Uh, no, they were pretty. Well, the, well, the wait time was waiting for permits. Uh, so once they came out here, uh, they were within a couple of weeks. They it took them about two to three weeks waiting for for, for permits. They had to do permits through Sumner County, but then they also. Um, as you know, you need to have ARC approval for something like this because I got very close to, the, to, to my line here. And, I wanted, and they actually went on my behalf and actually attended the ARC uh, commit, uh, hearing and got the approvals for that. So oh, those all, that, that all took a couple of weeks. And once they got that, within a week afterwards, they were out here doing the work. And then also in the middle of the job, Sutner County inspector actually came out here to kind of make sure that what they were doing, they were following their... The plan, so um, it was very well um, organized and, and was um, administered very well. So here, you know, I've got the little area in here that's that's covered in here, and I still spent a lot of time in here just because it's out of the elements and out of the sun. And then this, um, so in here, what I had to do is this: the cement work here was kind of a it was it was kind of a weird shape. So what we had to do here is square this whole thing out. So we had to pour cement work which meant we had to move an irrigation line out to do that. And so I had two sublets on this. One was for the moving of the irrigation, the second for the, for the cement work outside of the actual building the bird cage. And lots of nice uh, plantings here. Those will keep you busy all summer. Yeah, yeah, no, I... And then if you want to look at the berm over here, that, so the reason I like this corner unit is a lot of times the corner units do not have a berm here. It's just straight out with no landscaping at all. And I initially told my sales agent when I was buying a house, I do not want a corner unit because I don't want to be out here and be on display. And when I moved here, all these plants, it was just one year ago, December, tiny, tiny, tiny plants here. Look how big they are now. Those were not even touching, and they've now grown into a hedge. It's, it's, it's remarkable how fast things grow here in Florida. And I've got this privacy, and I get to enjoy all that out there, but guess what? I don't have to take care of any I of that. I ask you that. Like, they come and trim it? They trim it. They do the landscaping. They do the irrigation out there. So, um, yeah, I'm very happy with the location of my, uh, of my home here. I think if you'd like to come outside, let's show you. Okay, another exit here on the side. A little of what I've done with landscaping here. So that's bamboo behind me here. I noticed. Yes, I, I just lost a couple of very minor plants. I need to put. I need to replant in there. Um, but I did the. I did the brick. You know, the, the landscaping you can see, and then also the brickwork. The brickwork took well over a week just to put it all through here. That was the most labor-intensive aspect. And then they had to bring up. They had to build up the soil mm -hmm. through here. And then we decided to go with the ubiquitous palm trees. <laughs> this is a, this is a uh, Sylvester palm in the middle. And then we have the two Robolinis that accent it on each side. I'm on a corner lot, so I wanted something, you know, as you turn this corner, that's kind of like what you're looking right in here as you turn the corner in here. So I wanted something kind of front and center. And I am, I haven't put lighting up here yet. That's, the, that's one other thing I still need to do is because I, I, um, I, I want to have this kind of lit, lit up at night. Really nice Sylvester Palm. Now that's big and they just planted that, didn't they? That's only about two months old. It's yeah. planted for two months. Yeah. Wow. That is thick. Did your landscaper take you to a nursery and let you pick them out? 
No, he told me what he was going to do, okay. um, and I I trusted him, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with what he decided here. Now you have to watch these robolinis; they bite. I have found that out the hard way because I've gone down there and trimmed out some of the dead the dead palm fronds, and I've got some marks on my hand to show. Yeah, <laughs> boy. Well, it looks wonderful. Thank you. Michael, thank you for the tour. Wonderful. My pleasure. Thank you for coming over. The house has come a long way since we saw it. Oh, it sure has, yeah. And I can see why you love it. I really do. Well, now I have to go back and think about my wish list, what I'm going to do to my <laughs> house now. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. Is there anything else on, on your to-do list for the home? Uh, just some minor stuff. I, I do want to put some pendant lighting behind me. I still would like to do that. I want to put some lighting outside on the palm tree. Um, yeah, some you know, and just some just kind of spruce you know some things on the wall, like I said. Yeah. And after that, I'm going to finally be able to relax. It's been a full time job managing yeah. all this, plus enjoying everything the villages has to offer. My first year, yeah. um, it's been exhausting, but in a good way. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm loving it here. It's great. Well, thank you for sharing with us. And I'm going to tell you, it's just probably going to mean you're going to get some more friends. <laughs> <laughs> that that's great. That's yeah. great. Yeah, I, I love meeting everybody out there. I've met so many people here in the villages um, because of the original video. And um, yeah, so thank you everybody who's reached out to me. I want to give a shout out to my friend Mark in North Carolina who's moving down here in three weeks who, who I met through the original video. So um, yeah, thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. If you liked our video today, please press that like and subscribe button and share it with all your friends. Until next time. See you when you get Bye. here. Bye. <laughs>